Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to watch English new broadcast on the Tencho television channel of Domnan Province. To commemorate the 70th anniversary of the victory at Binding Phu, May 7th, a delegation led by Nguyen Hồng Linh, Provincial Party Secretary and a Central Party Committee member, visited former soldiers, youth volunteers and the frontline workers known as the Ding Bing soldiers, who actively participated in the historic campaign. The veterans now reside in the Long Tan district. The delegation visited elderly individuals. Ngo Thái Ngân, 95 years old, residing in the Phuc Hai neighborhood. Nguyễn Duy Nguyễn, 89 years old, living in the Go Sail neighborhood, both in Long Han Town. And Hoang Hi Dai, 89 years old, living in the Hamlet 3 and Phuc Commune, Long Han district. During the visit, the provincial party secretary expressed gratitude for the contributions of the Ding Bing soldiers to the victories of the Ding Bing Phu campaign 70 years ago. He wished the Ding Bing soldiers continued health and happiness, serving as a shining example for the future generations. The provincial party secretary emphasized the importance for the local authorities to continue their efforts in honoring and supporting veterans, actively caring for the war in valleys, martyrs' families, and the Ding Bing soldiers. It is essential to uphold the principles of gratitude and loyalty to ensure the social welfare and the sustainable development in the region. On May 4th, the Domnai Woods and Handicraft Industry Association held a meeting with the businesses and members to discuss and find solutions for reduction and the business development in 2024. According to the Domnai Wood and Handicraft Industry Association, 2023 was an extremely challenging year for the wood industry. Despite Domnai Wood export ranking second nationwide and the third in the province high export products, the total wood and the wood product export turnover was only 1.3 billion USD, a 34% decrease compared to 2022. During the meeting, the businesses and members also listened to the discussions about the global wood market situation, current difficulties faced by the enterprises, and solutions to connect members to both the goods consumption in the current period. And the prices were also introduced to the high-tech solutions for the wood processing to improve the product quality, reduce material consumption and increase reduction efficiencies. At the meeting, Deputy Chairman of the Domnai Rovinso People's Committee for Vang Phi expressed his hope that the wood industry and the prices would make the efforts to find a short-term solution to boot both domestic and export markets. The target for the wood and the wood product export turnover in 2024 in Domnai Province is set at over 1.5 billion USD. Long-term plans are needed to expand the wood industry markets, state management agencies, association and enterprise continue to try to develop Domnai Wood's production. This includes promotion the establishment of the high-tech forest trade zones, developing local and domestic wood materials areas, and gradually reducing the imported wood. The Ministry of Health is urging the government to propose a resolution to the National Assembly seeking to ban the reduction, sale, import, and promotion of electronic cigarettes. Heated tobacco products and other emerging tobacco variants, the products carry significant health risks and pose a threat to the progress made in tobacco harm prevention endeavors in Vietnam. According to the Ministry of Health, electronic cigarettes and heated tobacco products both similar risks of the chronic diseases at the conventional cigarettes. Moreover, electronic cigarettes can cause acute health effects, even leading to death. Just in 2023 alone, there were 1,224 hospital admissions due to the use of the electronic cigarettes and other new tobacco products. Notably, the rate of electronic cigarettes used among students had increased by 3.1 times. Electronic cigarettes often contain various flavors and chemicals not found in the traditional tobacco leaf ingredients. 
Through mixing, users can arbitrarily increase nicotine levels beyond safe limits or add drugs and other addictive substances for consumption. Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Kazarova stated on May 4 that NATO military exercise that fast defender taking place near the Russian border is the evidence that the alliance is preparing for a potential conflict with Russia. In a statement, Ms. Zakharova asserted that NATO exercises targeting Russia involve all means, including hybrids and conventional weapons. According to her, NATO is reading up for a potential conflict with Russia. She also refuted NATO's recent allegations that Russia were conducting hybrid attacks on member countries of the bloc, dismissing them at the misinformation and at diverting attention from the alliance activities. Ms. Hazarova affirms that it is NATO that has been waging a hybrid war against Russia by supporting Ukraine with weapons, intelligence and finances. The NATO exercise Steadfast Defender took place from January to May, involving 90,000 troops. The training focused on how the U.S. military would support alliance in countries bordering Russia and on NATO's eastern flank in case of conflict. Mr. Tahir El Nono, a Hamas officer and advisor to the Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh, stated that the Hamas negotiators began talks on May 4 regarding a ceasefire agreement in Gaza. These negotiations are taking place in Cairo, Egypt. The Hamad delegation consists of officials from their representative office in Qatar. According to Mr. El Nono, discussions with mediator from Egypt and Qatar began yesterday, and Hamas is seriously considering the proposals put forward by the mediators. Mr. El Nono also reiterated Hamas demands. Any agreement which must include a complete and permanent cessation of invasive actions, the full withdrawal and cessation of occupation from Gaza Strip, the returns of displaced persons from their homes, and a practical reason exchange agreement, the conditions outlined by Mr. El Nono have previously been rejected by Israel. Thank you for watching the English news broadcast on the Domnairo Vince Essential Television Channel. Goodbye and see you next time.